Okay, so I, I just wanted to just say a couple of things about kind of where you are in time. So this is uh, a meeting to discuss what we call the second phase in this Common Fund project. So Common Fund projects are usually uh, five-year projects, and then they come up for discussion on, you know, should they go to another five years? And in general, the idea is that 10 years they sunset, or sunset may not be the right word. The idea is that uh, these will actually move into other mechanisms, other institutes uh, throughout uh, the NIH over there, over, over those last, uh, at the end of those 10 years. So, the, so we're kind of in the middle here, and the idea is to uh, think hard about what you would like to do in phase two, make a really cogent argument for what changes did you want to make in the program as it is, and then uh, we will kind of put those thoughts together with a proposal for the second round of the Common Fund project. And uh, Jim Anderson's been mentioned. Jim uh, uh, runs the, the Common Fund, and uh, so he talks about what's called Common Fundability, and so I would keep that in mind as we go forward. So what does that mean? It means that the, the program has to have really high potential to, to make a difference in the research uh, environment. So that's uh, probably the most important thing. It's got to be a, a program that's catalytic, that uh, they're meaning that uh, the field is kind of percolating, uh, it's at the right time, there's a receptive community, the science is ready so that a, a, an organized initiative such as this can really change the way uh, research is done, and in this instance, actually how clinical care may be done. It needs to be synergistic, meaning that the, all the pieces have to add value to each other, and, uh, and synergistic across the NIH mission, so that's, um, Clearly, you know, not a hard argument in this uh, instance where the diseases that you're uh, finding out about really cross the mission of multiple institutes, so cross-cutting. And then unique, something that no one else is really doing, uh, so this is something that, uh, as you put it forward, uh, to, to kind of underline the, the value of, 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 the, of these uh, program-specific activities. Um, that are unique and, and have high impact for the research field. So uh, I don't, you know the area better than I do, but um, the diagnosis of people with um, very, very difficult disorders um, has been a big problem in our country for a long time. Um, it's probably a bigger problem now that uh, the medical system changed so that doctors have much more limited time to see patients, and so I imagine that there are people coming in all over, the, all over the country with conditions that um, the medical system just doesn't ha just is not built to take care of. Um, and that leaves problems for the patients and their families, um, and, and, uh, but it also uh, is uh, a, a research uh, gap area that needs to be filled in because the, uh, certainly with modern techniques, we now have the ability in, in a coordinated fashion to go after some of these cases and actually find out really new important things that are potentially of value to the patient themselves, but also to science in general. Um, so uh, I would say uh, you want to think about um, how you bring value to that aspect uh, of effect on the medical system, effect on uh, putting out uh, new research opportunities that could open science that uh, has implications. Um, on a, on a broad basis as well as on that narrow patient that you're dealing with. And then the other thing, which is the harder thing to understand, is to how in our medical system, uh, thinking that this is the second phase, I can tell you that discussions always come up in the second phase is, well, what happens after the 10 years are up? You know, if, if you have a program and it's doing great for 10 years and then it ends and then everything just disappears or goes into a file cabinet somewhere, that's really not what the Common Fund was for. The Common Fund is to, to stimulate something that's brand new that's going to have long-term legs in, in terms of changing uh, biomedical research and care. So how to, how to think about moving from this phase uh, that you're in now and the one, next one to something that's long-standing that can be incorporated into the medical system, uh, into the NIH mechanisms for, for research funding. Uh, so sustainability is something else, to, I think, to think about. Um, and, uh, but I, I certainly have been quite impressed by uh, the organization, by the, the, the hitting the milestones. Uh, so I think from our standpoint, the leadership standpoint, we're, 
we're quite impressed with the, with the work you're doing. Uh, but this is also an important phase to start thinking about phase two, because it's not just uh, we'll just do what we were doing before. You, this is your chance to really kind of up the, you know, up the energy, try and get the most value out of the, the second phase. Um, so again, happy to be here. Unfortunately, I can't have other things I have to run to during the day, mostly in this building, which is the neuroscience building. So all the neuroscience institutes are here, so I'll be in and out. So thank you very much. Thank you, Eric and Walter. And now we'll have a presentation from Dr. Gall, who's going to speak a little bit about the lessons learned from the Undiagnosed Diseases Program and now the UDN.